you know, my parents are more like the traditional Chinese family. Mm. They're not very big on no books on words on affection things uh, like that, right? So oh. I think that's something that I want to change. Until now, I struggle to say things like I love you or I miss you yeah, or yeah, yeah. thank you. You know, simple yeah. things that we actually can express so freely to other, but it's so difficult to say to the one closest to you. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because of the way we were brought up. Instead of uh, three letter words, it's a five hour name rolling <laughs> session, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seji, we're gonna go out today, okay? We're gonna meet some friends and eat some Vietnamese food. Are you excited? Yeah? Are you gonna be kind to me, okay? Because it's just me and you. Let's go. So this is my first time bringing Seji out, actually. Oh, is uh, it? By myself. Nine months since she was born. First time ever, daddy solo outing. So I'm actually very nervous. I can uh, imagine. Yeah. yeah, because I normally will bring him out by myself. I know it's very different between mums and dads because yes. our brains are wired differently. Yes, she told me to not to lose a sock today. I'm pretty sure I'll lose one sock today. My only can promise I'll bring her back alive and well. Don't worry, we, we have a lot of single socks in our wardrobe as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> Look at you, eating by yourself. Well done. So, uh, I've been to Hanoi, yeah. uh, but some of these I've never seen before. I know this Buncha. Yeah, Buncha is my personal favourite. I love yeah. it. We have a puncha stall right, right in front of my house last time. Yeah. Whenever they grill the, the meat, right, then the smell will go into my house and it's like, oh my god. So it was my childhood favourite. And then this is actually the Vietnamese sausage. It's actually made from pig blood and intestine. Right, so how should I normally eat about this? You just dip as, as much noodle as you want mm. into the soup. And then the pork. The and pork. then some fresh vegetable. Okay. Yeah. You want some too? I actually normally like, would give him like a bit like this. Oh nice. So he likes it too. So. I'm sorry. Oh no, you don't have to do. Woo! There you go. So this is the fresh bean roll. I mean, this I'm very familiar with this. This is what Singaporeans know of. Vietnamese <laughs> food. Does it remind you of home? Or it's quite a lot. It's quite easy to find Vietnamese food now, right? Yeah. So actually, nowadays a lot of uh, new Vietnamese restaurants. Sprouting up all over Singapore, yeah. like uh, a lot of Chinese stores as well. But I have to be honest, actually, most of the Vietnamese food uh, in Singapore is the southern style kind of cooking. Okay, yeah. Like for example, this is very rare for me. It's actually when I found this, I was like, oh my god, and I was not disappointed because it really tastes like the oh. Hanoi version of puncha. What are the dishes that sort of uh, most reminds you of home? It's actually my mother's cooking. Mm -hmm. Especially when I was stuck here for COVID for the past two years. So my cravings during the time I was pregnant was all my mom's home cooked food. Oh, but I couldn't okay. go back to Vietnam. Any particular dish? I kept thinking of a dish that me and my mom we, we were cooking together yeah. when I was a little girl until now. It's actually fried spring roll. So you know like in Singapore you also will have fried spring roll but it's quite yeah. different. The one uh, in the north, they, we use like something like transparent like this. And the dish is called? It's called uh, Nem Zan. Nem Zan. Nem okay. Zan? Yes. Okay, okay, Nem Zan. In the Hanoi style. Hanoi style? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to that. How small do you want it to be? Is this smaller? Even smaller. Okay. As small as you can. So it's like how the Chinese household making dumplings. Huh? Ah, like, yes, yes. Everyone yes. sit on the table and fold together. Yes, yes, yes. So my mom will be chopping and then I will be doing the rolling and then she will uh. be frying it or my sister will be frying it. And it's because it takes so much time and effort and a lot yeah. of ingredients. So it's a, like a special occasion when we make this kind of dish. If you wrap it too tight, which I used to do, it Explode. will burst. And then if you wrap it too loose, it also will open halfway through frying. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's yeah. a delicate, huh? It's a delicate. Skill. And how many years did you take to to get to the right stage? Uh, I've been making it since I was five or six years old. Uh huh. <laughs> Until now, and it's a nice thing because, like, to be honest, right now, if I were to think about childhood memories with my mom, it's a lot to do with cooking together. Right now, because we have our own families, yeah. we cook in our own kitchen, yeah. and so we're rarely in the same kitchen anymore. Yeah. Those kind of memory that you know. Sometimes it will be a bit of sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. It's something that uh, will stay with you, I think, for the rest of your life. For sure. It's, it's uh, such a strong food memory, right? Yeah. And therefore, you are here making this dish to relieve those memories? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I can transport you to uh, Hanoi. Yes. All 
right, here we go. And then everything in. Okay. And then we add an egg, which is to glue everything. And just a little bit of pepper. I smell the carrots, the onions, that freshness. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you one secret trick. Actually, if you want the skin to be much more crispy, you just add a bit of the oh! lemon juice inside. Oh! The secret tricks of lemon yes. cooking, okay. And then we just fold it like once like this. And then you go to the side and you fold the side in. Make sure that it's a bit of a round shape. What? <laughs> See, you took 10 years. Uh, this is going to be a year one. Not bad at all. Uh, looks like a very badly roast cigar. No, 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 it's nice. <laughs> Not okay. bad at all for the first time. All right. So, actually, I'm curious, right? Uh, I heard that you are a private chef last yeah. time. Do you actually cook for your daughter? I try to, but the truth is I'm quite busy, but I try to. For me, because food is such a big part of my life, right? Mm. I think similar to you as well, for a lot of cultures, Asian cultures particularly, food is sort of a language of love, right? Yeah. You know, my parents are more like the traditional Chinese family. Mm. They're not very big on no books on words on affection, things oh. like that, right? So I think that's something that I want to change. Until now, I struggle to say things like I love you or I miss you yeah, or yeah. thank you, you know? Simple yeah. things that we actually can express so freely to others. But it's so difficult to say to the one closest to you. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because of the way we were brought up. Instead of uh, three letter words, it's a five hour name rolling <laughs> session. <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think because our parent generation, they are not very good with words. And I think that is how they show love. That's why when I think back about how my mom actually travel home from work, cook for me, and then go back to work again. It's yeah. truly a language of love. Huh? Yeah, it's like she sacrificed so much time and effort, you know. In Vietnam, we always like make fun of each other. We say like, uh, you will only understand the parent's heart when you can come one. And last time I used to laugh at it, you know. I was like, ayah, how difficult can it be, right? Did you tell your mom that, that you miss her cooking? I can't say, you know, I can't express my feeling towards her, even until now. The way I show, right, is that I'll call and say, how do I cook this, ah? Yes, <laughs> and yes, then yes, she yes, will yes, like, ayah, yeah, it's so simple, you know how to cook. It's all in the undertone of, I miss you, I love you. It's a rough way of showing love, but now that I become a wife and I cook for my son, now I become thankful of, you know, all those effort that she put. Look at how much we have done rolling. I like to see that uh, mine has a lot of diversity in their shape. <laughs> but it's diverse. You did not bad at all for the first time. Uh, look, <laughs> wow. So the first time you will fry it on low fire until the ingredients are cooked. And then you will fry it another time to make the skin golden and crispy. So, we have Nam Cha. No. no. Nam Zan. Bun Nam Zan. Bun, bun? Oh, because it's noodles. Yeah, this is Bun. Bun Nam Zan. Zan. Bun yeah. Nam Zan. Yeah. How do, I, how do I tackle this? Do I just... Similar to Bun Cha. Yeah. You take a bit of noodles mm -hmm. and you put in the dipping sauce. Okay. And then you take some herbs and the spring roll comes in last so that it doesn't lose the crispiness. Mmm. Huh? It's meaty, very fragrant. Mm -hmm. I think the fish sauce is like, gives it that umami boost. Yeah, it's like ties everything together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you to serve this to your mom, yeah, what would she say? She will always say, can be better. Actually, recently, since I cook for my son, I start thinking about who I cook for, right? And yeah. then it's all in my mind that I haven't been cooking for my mother for a long time. This trip, we're going back to Vietnam, we're definitely. Mm. Yeah, but I'll cook something for her and then she will say that it can be better. Yes. But she'll like it a lot. Yeah, sure. I know in my heart that <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> well, that's the story of Asian parenting. Yeah. In Asian cultures, we're not very good at speaking our mind. But what is similar that we use food to sort of convey our love across each other. Hopefully we'll share more affection of words with this one. And also, eventually, we'll cook together with food as a language of love. Uh, we're gonna make bread, we're gonna make a lot of stuff. And your name is Sage, definitely cook with Sage as well. Right? Yeah. So, what's the lemon for? Okay, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is not sharp. No, no. The knife is not sharp. The knife is not sharp. I'm sorry. 
We hope you enjoyed this episode of Eat the World. If you want to watch more, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And let us know what other cuisines which you feature next on this channel as well. Bye!